Okay, now we're going to be doing the hunting uh, gun bearer. We're going to show you how it installs on the timber line. Uh, looking at the hunting kit down here, we got the upper portion, obviously, and the cradle. So looking at the timber line pack, this is my right side. I'm going to install it on the right side. Uh, obviously, the uh, gun bearer is an ambidextrous piece of equipment. So looking at the Timberline pack, uh, right shoulder strap here, I got a little one inch tri-glide. I'm actually going to install um, everything on the right side here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the upper portion of the uh, gun bearer. You can see I got, I got the buckle facing in towards the sternum strap. And I got the long section facing outside of the bag. What I'm going to be doing is taking this one inch um, tab attached to this upper part of the gun bearer and I'm going to be slipping it through this tri-glide. So what I do is I just kind of pick up the tri-glide like this, open up the, the slot, slip that in, bring it up, and I want to make sure I go through the top as well. So I'm going to just rotate that tri-glide upward, kind of pull that strap through, get a corner started, and then go ahead and just push it through. Now sometimes these can be a little stubborn, so it's really good to have a set of pliers with you. Just grab that corner and pull it through. It should go real easy. Okay, so far we've got this weaved through to one inch tri-glide. Now, earlier you probably saw that there's kind of a, a split piece of webbing there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife. I want to make sure I take that other piece of webbing and pull it through. You can kind of see it right there. What I want to do is make sure it's all the way above the tri-glide. So I'm going to work it this direction and pull it through all the way. What this little tab does is it prevents it from unthreading out of that tri-glide. So I'm going to kind of pull that down and seat it, okay, and then fold it over. And then what you can do, you can move this up and down the shoulder strap to adjust for the height for the upper gun bearer. And then what you can do here with your sternum strap is you kind of just slip that right over the top of that and it kind of double locks it in. It's really nice. It's not going anywhere. And this is how it should look right here. Okay, and make sure that hypalon piece is facing up. Okay, you don't want to install it backwards. You basically want to be able to take that strap, open the buckle, push it through, and you can see that a hypalon rides on the inside and protects your rifle from that buckle. Okay, so that's the upper gun bearer. Now we're going to move to the right side of the uh, waist belt. It's really nice. The, having the gun bearer on the waist belt distributes the weight of the weapon uh, to your hips instead of having to carry it with a sling or anything like that. So here's the cradle, but what we're going to do is we're going to start upside down. I'm actually going to flip this backwards so I got these little tri-glides sitting here. Now you got these little rows of uh, similar to Molly and Powell's webbing where you can put these. Um, so you got to kind of determine where you want the butt of your rifle to be sitting on your uh, waist belt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these just like this. I'm going to put them in these two right here. Kind of just start sideways, kind of just Slip them in sideways, pull them through. Sometimes they can be a little stubborn, but just kind of work it through. They're, they're pretty easy. Okay, so if you guys can see here, okay, the cradle is upside down. It's facing upward. The bottom of it's facing me. I got these tri-glides facing down. What I want to be able to do is pull those tri-glides up like that. Okay, make sure that webbing that they're on is kind of straight. Clean out those wrinkles if you can. Everything looking nice. You just kind of want that all nice. Okay, so when I pull on it, it doesn't come through. And then obviously when I flip it over, you know, the tension on it's going to keep those locked. Okay, and this is how it should look. And obviously you can take this strap and adjust for the height of your weapon. And make sure this coincides with this when it wraps around the forearm of your weapon. So that's the uh, hunting gun bear. That's how it's installed. And uh, go to it. Go have fun.